good morning or evening or whatever i don't really care so yeah t5 factories are a bit confusing just like whatever the hell is in front of us here so i thought yo i'll just make an easy one for everyone to understand and it's a good base just to learn how to make them so before people start whinging about my design shut up i don't care it's just simple straightforward and i know you can make it smaller and i know you can do this and that this is just to learn and get the ropes and you can expand your mind at a later point so we're going to make this t5 factory from the core so we've got all of our outputs here we just need to pick which factory we want the ground the air or the naval now it doesn't matter which factory you select for the starting point because it'll work with any of them and it'll work with any of the units as well so you can change it at any point so let's go we'll go with the ground factory for now place that there and we need to select the unit i'll just go with the crawler so let's send in the first lines we've got coal and lead going in and this is what i mean crawlers don't need lead but if i switch to this one it does need lead so that's why we have all the connections set up like that now we can go ahead and make the t2 so we'll just place that there and then we'll also get the t3 and just place it like that now the easiest way to get everything in is just use a vault so we will select a vault and we'll just place it there now we can use unloaders here 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 so if we have an unselected loader it's just going to send any item that it needs into here so let's add the next lines silicon graphite metaglass and titanium now we'll use an overflow gate here you'll find out later on it doesn't really matter but that's sending the titanium in there and we've got all this stuff going in so this is also going to work because it needs graphite and silicon it'll go through this one a t3 oh stop mining a t3 needs silicon titanium and metaglass so let's just change them to that um titanium and silicon now to speed this up for getting silicon we can just put uh, an overflow gate there and i'll just speed up the stuff so you can see that just walked straight out and did not go into here what we need to do is get a payload conveyor and send it up and that's you actually got a t3 design already it's pretty cool now let's make the t4 and the t5 so that's what it's going to look like from our core to there i think it looks pretty sweet and small i like it now let's add all these things together first this t4 needs silicon so let's just send silicon through here so silicon's going in here into the vault into here and then out into the t4 we're also going to do the same here so it's going to send the t4 to the t5 silicon now let's add the next vault that's why we put the overflow there it can get titanium in both and let's just send the next items in plastinium phase weave and surge now this needs titanium and then it also needs the plastinium so that's got all the requirements for items now apart from the chiral fluid but we'll talk about that in the end we just need to fill this up so let's get the plastinium the surge and the phase weave all we got to do is send them up and make sure both of these are powered like so and that is a working t5 factory without the cryo fluid for now so yeah let's just check it all working with fluid i'll add this just for now and we can make it later and there finally a toxic bit has been made so there is obvious improvements we can make to this 
we can make an overdrive dome to the side here. For those of you who don't know what this is, it's just an upgraded overdrive projector. It just makes things faster. So a boost of 250% we'll get. It's connected to the phase wave, so we just need to send the silicon up. So we can do that by adding a router there and I'll send it up and you'll start to see everything going super fast. So that's a pretty cool first improvement. A second improvement would be changing this. So we could change to a router and then send this straight out here. So what that does is if this is full, it'll just send a T2 out. And once it's cleared, for example, it'll just place in there. So the next one will come out. So that's just a little quick idea, but it will use up more resources. Now a good way to see how our resources are doing is checking the vaults. So all these resources are fine. All of these are fine apart from silicon. So if you want better efficiency, we need to add more silicon. So we could just add one up here, send it across. We do have enough resources to use the phase conveyors. So just send that straight over. And as long as that has power, it will work. So connect that up. And there you go. The whole system should work a little bit finer now. Now let's work on getting the chiral fluid to these two up here. So there is two different positions we can look at. So we could get a phase conduit and send it up like this. So you can get one here and then you'd be able to get another one to connect those two up. Depending on the map, you know, you don't know your position. So you could make some fluid there, but probably the easiest way is just get to the side here. So let's just add some liquid tanks. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'll add 10. Um, and then let's just add the chiro fluid mixers, connect them all up. So these guys need titanium. So we could grab titanium from here. Um, you know, you could use the phase conveyor to send it over this way, but it does use up too much titanium and slows down the whole system. So it's best to take from core again or send it through a mass driver, whatever you do you. Um, but yeah, let's just send this titanium this way first. Get a little bridge here. And you want to stay within this overdrive dome so everything gets sent efficiently. So we'll just jump across here. And that keeps us just in so we can send up here fast enough. Now let's connect these all up. Um, I'm not sure how I'm going to connect this up there. Yeah, that's it. So we can just add the overflow gates. And that should work. So that's connected up. We just need the power. And there you go. Now all these guys need is water. So Let's just build the first obvious part, which would be using a bridge to get between all these. Let me just copy that. And back to using the bridge. So once again, I mean, it's up to you how you do this. You could just make tanks. Um, and then this last one needs to be connected up, doesn't it? So yeah, that will all work. Now we need to send water to these. So if you do have water, that would be perfect. Um, or you could just make some sort of system with these. You know, you could start sending them straight in by making rows. 
that's a pretty easy way but for now let's just try it with a thermal pump so i think we need two for this so let's just add two for now and connect them up they do need power so i'll just nav the sandbox power to get it working and all the water is going in so let's add the power lines to connect the rest up so now you can see we've got chiro fluid coming through here it's just not connected to here so let's just send a pipeline in and there you go that's consistent that's all up and there there you go so obviously what you got to remember is we are speeding everything up by 250 percent so even if this isn't running efficiently with all the items going in or not enough um chiral fluid it is fine you are making them really really fast and it's going to burn up so many items so it doesn't matter if you know your chiral fluid is coming in very slow but yeah that's that's a pretty easy system to do you can expand that and uh yeah and as i said before people are going to complain saying well you could make you know better use of the microprocessor with this or this and that but i think that's a really straightforward simple way to start learning how to make t5 tweak it how you want to tweak it because everyone plays the game how they play it um everyone does like to moan um but that's because everyone plays different so shut up um yeah have a good day guys let me just zap into this oh my god <laughs>